Hello, dear friends. In this video, we will be discussing that my M2R is a non commutative ring with unity. Definitely, I have not given the definition of the ring. In the later, I will just making a full series of ring theory in which we, I will go in detail. But for now, I want to discuss this particular examples for my students. So, for those students who don't know, I will just show them what the ring is. Okay. So, the ring is what? Ring is nothing but a set with two operations such that under the first operation, it is an abelian group. That means there are five conditions. Under dot, there it is a semi-group. Semi-group means it is binary and associative means two properties. And the last property is distributivity from both the sets. That means this multiplication operation is distributive over addition. If a set with this two operations satisfies this eight condition, we call it to be a ring. If it satisfies AB is equal to BA means under multiplication it satisfy commutativity we call it as a commutative ring and if it has a multiplicative identity we call it as a commutative ring with unity also okay so but now what we wanted is we want to prove my m2r is a non commutative ring with unity okay specifically i am taking m uh, over here two as in consideration because i want to prove i want to show them it is a non commutative if I consider it as n, then it is difficult to show it as a non-commutative, right? So I'm going to a particular case, but this idea can be generalized and we can conclude that my m and r is a non-commutative ring with unity. And also at the end of the video, we'll be thinking about what are the units of this. Definitely, I will discuss what unit means and what is the meaning of unity. But for now, let's start proving that my m to r is a ring, okay? So the first property that we see is, okay, let me just choose the pen. Uh, okay, so the first property is nothing but binary, right? Because I want to prove that it is a ring. That means I want to prove it is an abelian group under addition. So I have considered two element. I have already considered three element which I am going to use in this proof. So I have A and B. So I will add them. What is my A plus B? Already I have considered any arbitrary element. So I am just adding them. You will see adding is nothing but adding them coordinate wise. Correct. So addition is nothing but A1 plus B1 a2 plus b2, a3 plus b3, a4 plus p4, right? So, will it be an element of m2r? Yes or no? Yes, it will be. Why? Because we know that this entries are nothing but real numbers and again it is 2 cross 2 matrix. So, we got to know my addition is binary. Okay. So, the first property is true. Second property, my a plus b plus c is same as a plus b plus c okay let me just consider of my left hand side what my left hand side actually is let me just go a bit down okay so my left hand side is actually nothing but my a1 plus b1 plus c1 right a2 plus b2 plus c2 bracket over here also it is same as a3 plus b3 since i am expecting the viewers to be a ty bsc students i am just skipping some steps I request students to write the, all the steps in detail when you are in exam hall, right? Okay. Similarly, your RHS will be what? You will write what is A, what is B, what is C and then you will write this final step. So, this is same as what? My RHS is A1 plus B1 plus C1. Similarly, it is A3 plus B3 plus C3. And actually, if I wanted, I, just, I could have wrote directly that since my real numbers are associative. Uh, I could have done that, but I just wanted to show my students how to write a proof, correct? So, for that thing, I'm just making this video. So, let's just move forward, okay? So, now I will conclude my LHS is same as RHS. Why? Since in R, addition is associated, correct? Since in real number, addition is associated. Therefore, I know my addition operation of a matrices is nothing but is associated, right? So, I know the second property is also true. The third property is nothing but identity. The third property is identity. What is an identity? I know my 0, 0, 0, 0, a 0 matrix is an element of M2, R such that if I add any matrix A1, A2, A3, A4 with this matrix 0, 0, 0, I get the same matrix again that is A1, A2, A3, A4. Right? So, I will write my identity, identity, identity under the operation of addition exists. Okay? That is nothing but the third property. The fourth property is nothing but inverse. So, 
for any a inside my m2 r there exist what is an additive inverse of the matrix it is nothing but taking component wise additive inverse that is nothing but minus a1 minus a2 minus a3 and minus a4 and i name this matrix as same as minus a such that if i add this a with minus a from the either side i get my zero as answer Correct. zero matrix this means it is a zero matrix okay note that it is a zero matrix hence i am writing 2 a 0 2 cross 2 okay so i know my identity uh, inverse exist okay inverse under addition exist okay. after that we will go for fifth property i wanted to prove my set is nothing but a a Bailen group under addition a Bailen smith what we want to prove that commutativity property also so i will just consider a plus b what is my a plus b we know it is same as a1 plus b1 a2 plus b2 a3 plus b3 a4 plus b4 also since we know that uh, since i am inside if i go component wise they are nothing but a real numbers right so since they are real numbers i can write them commute karke likh sakta i can write commutativity over here right i am using commutativity of the real numbers inside it b3 plus a3 a4 plus b uh, sorry I'm, i want to root commutativity so it is b4 plus a4 and it is same as b plus a right so these things are actually simple but i wanted to prove everything right so now i know my m 2r is nothing but under addition is an abelian group right since it satisfies five properties abelian group okay so after that we will go for the multiplication operation the first property that we need to prove is a binariness right so i consider a into b is nothing but a1 a2 b1 b2 right also oh sorry 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 it is nothing but a3 a4 b1 b2 b3 b4 okay uh, what is the same as it is same as my a1 b1 a2 plus a2 b3 my a1 b2 plus a2 b4 then it is a3 b1 plus a4 b3 a3 b2 plus a4 b4 right i know all the students can do this okay so you see over here i am just multiplying real numbers and adding with an another multiplication of real number so definitely it cannot go outside of a real number so i got to know if i multiply any two real matrices again the answer that is a into b is an again an element of m2r okay so after that we'll go for the seventh property seventh property is something that i want to skip because if i just go to prove it it will take one more page right so what i'll use i'll just use a result i'll just directly say we know that we know that matrix multiplication matrix multiplication matrix multiplication is associated multiplication is associated therefore my a b times c is same as a b c correct therefore after this i can write my m2 comma r under multiplication is semi group correct what is the meaning of semi group i think most of the student have cleared that what is the idea of a semi group it is half group that means it has a binary property it has semi associative property then we call it a semi group the last and the final property is nothing but distributivity we'll think about it so i'll just consider a b plus c okay so what i see over here a times b plus c right so i'll just write it in detail so it is nothing but a1 a2 a3 a4 what is an addition of those both both of them is nothing but b1 plus c1 uh, this is same as uh, b2 plus c2 also it is b3 plus c3 b4 plus c4 okay so for uh, for those students who are coming uh, first time to my channel just please subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comment section what the how the video is if i'm going fast slow uh, give me your valuable feedback so i'll just improve in my next session okay so i just have to multiply this to matrices we know how to multiply okay so it is a1 times this so it is a thimber a1 b1 plus a1 c1 right and plus 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 a2 b3 plus a2 c3 okay this is the first coordinate similarly i will write the second one so the second one is nothing but i'll just shift the bet okay so it is nothing but a1 b2 
plus a1 just let me know if i'm right or wrong just let me know if i'm right writing something wrong just let me know in the comment section so i'll just get my mistake so i won't i will just uh, check it i cannot change in the video but definitely i will make sure i change in my notes uh, a3 b1 plus a3 c1 plus a4 b3 plus a4 c3 okay over here i'll get a3 b2 plus a3 c2 plus a4 b4 plus a4 c4 okay definitely now the students can think what we should do now okay so what i will do i will just what i'll do i'll just take something in the better way so it is nothing but a1 b1 plus i just i was just thinking what i should do after this so i found that i want to prove a b plus a c right so i, I what i did i just took a b wala a b terms together a b terms together and i'll just take uh, a c terms together and just separately i will write them okay so a3 b1 plus a4 b3 a4 b uh, sorry a4 sorry 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 I, i just went somewhere okay so it is nothing but a3 b2 plus a4 b4 similarly plus the rest of the term from the first coordinate i know 1 cross 1 from 1 comma 1 i know this two are left so i'll just write over here so it is a1 c1 plus a2 c3 similarly over here i will write a1 c2 plus a2 c4 the students who feel that is really easy they can skip this part and that can come directly to the end of the video when i want to discuss uh, my units right what are the units of this that those things are important if you can do this things so well and good okay so this is actually same as what this is nothing but ab plus ac but in the exam point of view if this thing is asked you need to write the things in detail okay but for now since we wrote one of them is correct that is a b plus c since it is true similarly similarly you can prove that you you, are, you also have to write same thing in the exam if it is asked that similarly it is same this also definitely over here i am not telling that my this product is same as this product okay note this we know that multiplication is not commutative under matrices right in matrices multiplication is not commutative so note that thing i'm just writing similarly means similarly you can prove this i'm not concluding this thing is same as this right? so from now since i have proved eight of the properties i can conclude that my this m2 r under addition and under multiplication is a ring okay now i want to for, uh, talk that it is not a commutative ring if i can say it is a commutative ring if my ab is same as ba for every element inside this right for all a and b inside this. if i want to say it is non commutative that means i need to give an example such that by using that example i can conclude that it is not satisfying commutative property for that particular example so what i will consider i will consider two elements 1 1 0 0 definitely you can think of some other uh, example also whatever strike me first i'm just using it so it is m2 comma r okay just let me know in the comment section if i was running fast in this video uh, okay so i've just considered this two elements i'll just multiply them in the both the ways right so it is 1 1 0 0 you see this product is nothing but this is nothing but 2 2 this is nothing but 0 uh, this is also 0 if i just multiply in the other way that means i take this first 1 1 0 0 and the other 1 1 0 0 in the other pattern then what i get is let me just say so it is 1 this is nothing but again 1 this is again 1 and again 1 right you will see these two things are not equal correct yes so this is 1 this is 2 right so we know that my 1 is not same as 2 1 is not e same as 2 implies me my m2 comma r under addition and this is a ring but it is a non commutative ring right so it is a non commutative ring so when students are studying rings definitely they will see most of the rings are commutative rings so this is one of the example where it is a non commutative okay definitely it has an identity since you know that your 1 0 0 0 that is the uh, sorry 0 0 no 0 1 that is the thing but your i 2 cross 2 is an element of m2 r such that your any any matrix time i2 is same as that matrix again that is nothing but i2 times a hence this matrix this matrix identity matrix is called unity is called unity of this ring 
What is the meaning of a unity? Unity is nothing but a multiplicative identity of the ring. I'm repeating again. Unity is nothing but a multiplicative identity of the ring. Hence, I know there exists a unit inside us. Therefore, I can conclude my M2R under the two standard operation is a non-commutative, is a non-commutative, okay, is a non-commutative ring with unity, with unity. Now, the last thing that uh, left in this video is nothing but talking about units. Okay? Unit. What is the meaning of a unit? A element, an element, an element of the ring R is said to be unit, is said to be unit if, if it has, it has a multiplicative inverse multiplicative inverse multiplicative inverse in r that means i can say my a inside r is a unit if my a inverse is an element of r correct so i hope the students know i just wanted to revise this definitely in the later videos i will go in detail what unit is but before using the word unit i just want to define it definitely uh, i feel sorry that my writing are not so good because i want to save some time okay okay so units now i will be discuss units of this okay i we can say a is the unit unit of m2 r if and only if my a inverse is an element of m2r correct okay that means what inverse of the matrix exist we know that inverse exist if and only if my uh, determinant of the matrix is not equal to zero correct yes or no yes so i got to know my determinant is not equal to zero and we know that determinant is not equal to zero that means my a is nothing but an element of g l 2 comma r Yes or no? Yes. GL2R is nothing but set of all matrices which are two cross two with the real entries such that determinant is not equal to zero. That means I got to know my A is a unit of M2R if and only if that A is nothing but an element of uh, GL2R that is general linear group having two cross two matrices of real entries. Right? So I found that all units of M2R are nothing but GL2R. Also we know that set of all units of m2r matrices 2 cross 2 matrices is denoted by this this u is nothing but notation for the units right so u of m2r is same as my gl2r right okay so this is nothing what i wanted to conclude and i want to convey through this video so thank you so much guys for watching this video till the end if you like it just share it with your friend and let me know in the comment section how was the video okay so we'll meet in the next video with another example the example is nothing but this. We'll discuss this in the next video, okay? So, bye-bye, guys.